Hi there, I'm Katrina and welcome to the download, seven reasons why you keep attracting narcissists into your life. So I've done it, you've done it, and everyone I've worked with has done this too. So I'm going to explain later why we keep attracting narcissists into our life. Meanwhile, I'm going to tell you in the ways that we do attract narcissists, what happens to our body, what happens to our system when we keep on being in the cycle of attracting narcissists into our life, okay? So it may start off as childhood trauma, it may start off as generational trauma, family trauma, all of this is in our system. So before I start telling you about the seven reasons, I will explain the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, okay? So picture an iceberg, an iceberg in the sea. You've got the big body of the iceberg that's underneath the water, and then you've got the tip of the iceberg that's on top of the water. Now, the tip of the iceberg is about 10%, roughly 10%, of our conscious thinking mind, right? So the analogy is the iceberg is our whole mind. The subconscious mind is the whole bulk body, that 90% of the iceberg that's underneath the water. And the tip of the iceberg is the 10% that's above the water. Now the 10% is our conscious mind. It is our monkey mind. It is our mind that keeps on giving us negative self-talk it worries about everything it's our ego and we need it we need it to help us think about our day what needs to be done it is our planning mind it is the mind that's really really important from day to day living that keeps us surviving however there is the subconscious mind, that big body of mind that's underneath the water, 90%, yeah? So this mind knows everything. It has remembered absolutely everything since the moment you were born. It remembers everything, perhaps even before you were born, information that's from your parents' um, system, their DNA, their cells, everything. It contains all this information that we can't access. <laughs> We can't access it because we are not relaxed enough to access it. So how do we access our subconscious mind? Through meditation, through not thinking about it. The act of not trying to access it brings it into consciousness. So you know when you're working on something artistic creating something or perhaps you're doing the dishes or perhaps you're just daydreaming not thinking about anything particular but then an idea comes to your mind ah eureka that's your subconscious mind doing its work it's when you're not thinking you're not stressing these thoughts come to mind so we have got an inner genius that's within us and that is our subconscious mind okay hold that mo hold that thought and, and and keep that in the back of your mind for now now i'm going to move on to why we keep on attracting narcissistic characters into our life. Bearing in mind that we, those who have been um, attracting narcissists into our lives, we come from a place of being abused. Perhaps we have experienced childhood trauma. Um, maybe there's been addiction in our family. Perhaps there's been um, a lot of abuse from um, you know, parents or, or growing up as a child, or maybe there wasn't even any abuse. Perhaps it's missed a couple of generations. This sort of stuff is in our subconscious mind, okay? It's stored within our subconscious mind. It affects how we vibrate. How is it stored in our, in our subconscious mind? It is stored through taking in energy, frequencies that we get from outside, frequencies that are probably within us already, and it's nature, nurture, and environment. So all these things have an impact and all of these things affect how we live our lives and how our subconscious mind is affected. So, if you come from a place where you have been traumatized in your past, whether it might be your generation, your parents' generation, or even past generation, there's this trauma that might be stored in your subconscious mind. 
on a subconscious level because it's the subconscious mind it it works on a subconscious level it comes out when we are in a place where we allow ourselves to be vulnerable maybe um, we then come across as being the victim even though we may not feel like we're the victim but we come across as being that victim now why do we come across that way it's because we haven't healed so the stuff that you're carrying from your past it's probably your parents trauma the trauma that may be um, during wars famine difficult times they've been inherited into your system and if they haven't been cleared by your parents your grandparents then guess what? It's going to be in your system too, which means you are going to be predisposed to picking up energy frequencies and, and being a victim of narcissistic abuse. So that kind of explains why you keep attracting narcissistic abuse into your, into your life. It's the subconscious mind. So how do we heal from that? Before we heal from that, you need to watch the tutorials on seven reasons why you keep attracting narcissists into your life. Once you understand what those seven reasons are, I'll explain in the last videos what to do next, what you can do then. And there are three different options. You can choose all of those options. If you want to choose one option, that's fine. If you want to not choose any, that's fine, but I do urge you to join the free group. If you're not gonna choose any of those options, join the free group. Hey, I'm here and I'm willing to help you because I came from a place myself where I had been a victim of narcissistic abuse, narcissistic abuse. I grew up with narcissistic abuse through the education system. There was probably narcissists in the family that I'm not aware of. And growing up, I was obviously an easy target. And I got together with someone who had those qualities as well. So I've been there. And it was only these seven reasons, the seven reasons I'm going to share with you later. Those were the seven reasons that got me out of being in that place of being a victim. I had done therapy, I had done everything else and nothing else worked. It was those seven reasons why I was still stuck. Those seven reasons, only those seven reasons that got me out of being in that victim place. So I'd like to share those seven reasons with you. There will be a worksheet attached to this um, download which I urge you to follow and do according to each video and um, see what comes up and I'm here for you please reach out to me you can book a call with me at the end of this um, training or like I said there's those options that you can choose at the end but thank you so much for listening to this today and your healing starts now namaste